Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Michael Odur, Medical Superintendent, Bondo Sub-County Hospital. And today it's our pleasure to have received our new governor, His Excellency, uh, James Orengo, who has uh, paid us a visit uh, just to get to see what is happening in Bondo Sub-County Hospital. Uh, we have had an interactive uh, opportunity and been able to see what the hospital uh, is offering to the residents of Bondo and Sierra County at large who come to seek services uh, in our facilities. And we are happy, Your Excellency and the Deputy Governor, for finding time to visit us, even as you settle into office, so that as you come in, you are aware of what we are having at Bondo Sub-County Hospital and the Health Department at large. Uh, I do not want to take much, but just to appreciate also the good work that the staff in Bondo Sub-County Hospital are doing uh, and urge them that even as we welcome the new administration that you continue with the good work that you've been doing and I'm happy that uh, uh, we have a team that will be supportive. You know, Waswahili uh, usema sikunjema huonekana asubui. And for us as Bondo Sub-County Hospital, we want to count this as our morning and we hope that uh, the signs we have seen are signs that predict that this is going to be a very good day for us, okay? I believe there are areas that we may not be doing very well as a facility and some of those challenges we have mentioned one or two and uh, we welcome uh, the new administration to even uh, steer us further in terms of service delivery in the hospital. So uh, with those few remarks, just allow me to uh, uh, probably welcome uh, Waziri. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dismas Wakla, the CEC in charge of health and sanitation. Uh, I'm also happy uh, Governor, Deputy Governor, Mweshimiwa uh, Gideon Ochanda, that you have found time to visit Bondo Sub-County Hospital. Governor, this is really humbling because on Friday you visited CIA County Referral Hostel and the next uh, working day you are here in Bondo. That really confirms your commitment uh, to service delivery in the health sector and we really uh, don't take that for granted. As uh, my med soup has uh, elaborately explained, uh, we have taken uh, uh, our leadership through the services we render in this facility, uh, the milestones, the little milestones that we have achieved and of course the gaps and challenges that exist. This is important because as they settle down to work, it is good that they have a clear vision on what is happening in the health sector. So we really feel privileged, Governor, that you are on uh, these tours and we want to encourage you that you, at least on the minimum, you visit all the 10 uh, level 4 hospitals in the county so that it can give you a holistic picture of the level of uh, uh, service delivery in the health sector. Otherwise, I don't want to take much time. I just want to appreciate and uh, welcome the, uh, the DG, or the, sorry, welcome uh, Mwashimi Ochanda. Uh, Governor, I want to uh, say this. Number one, this is the first time I'm sharing a platform here with the governor in a health facility in this constituency. Very impressive. And I want to say that uh, uh, as you get into office and as you start working, health is paramount. And we really want to look forward that uh, our health sector in the county is really, really, really looked at in a proper manner. Uh, I want to believe that this is an indication that we are going to start well. Uh, as you go uh, uh, getting the inventories in terms of what happens in the county, we want to wish you well. Uh, we want to wish uh, our, our communities that now they need to look forward maybe to a different way of how things are done. Uh, definitely we've had challenges in this uh, hospital. Uh, some of them extend sometimes to directions where we get in. There's a big problem of water here. Uh, I want to believe that this is something that you may want to look at almost uh, immediately. Uh, there's been a problem of water. There's a better problem of facilities in terms of the actual physical facilities. What we have here are more very temporary, uh, very temporary uh, prefabs 
uh, a lot of it that were brought in because of the COVID. But we want to believe as you come in, this is a facility that kind of takes care of the entire region, the other entire southern part of, of, of CI, uh, both Bondo and Rarieda uh, sub-counties. We want to wish you well and we want to believe that this is going to be a good beginning uh, and uh, our communities are going to benefit uh, in a proper manner in terms of health uh, services. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll answer the questions. Uh, first of all, I, I think uh, uh, Honorable Chanda is the one who knows how to address me. I uh, feel a little offended to call your excellence. I'm safer when you call me governor uh, or just Orango. That's good enough. But uh, as you know, health is devolved, agriculture is devolved, um, county roads are devolved, and uh, pre primary education is devolved and agriculture is devolved. So uh, as we visit health facilities, is not by accident. We are conscious of the role that the county government is supposed to play. And one of those sectors is, is the health sector. And uh, in our manifesto, we put a lot of emphasis and premium on health, agriculture, uh, pre-primary education, and uh, county roads. And of course, with the blue economy, there's emphasis there as part of the uh, big question about ag agriculture as a whole. Um, we are happy, the doctor, for having us here together with Waziri. Uh, from the you know, facilities you have, uh, I think uh, I must say you're doing a good job, but it's not the best. Uh, because we need more doctors here. I've been told we only have four doctors. Uh, I think this facility will do better with about 15 doctors, seriously speaking. Um, and also, as Dr. Chanda has said, in, term, in terms of facilities, we, we are grateful that there's an oxygen plant here. We are grateful there are equipment in the Department of Radiology and so on. But the bottom line is that uh, we have to do better to provide a better working environment for the staff who work here and also to be, uh, uh, to be able to provide better services to the people and the patients who come here. And there is our commitment to, to make a difference. We are not here to impress people. We are here um, in our line of duty. And after every visit we sit down, and uh, we try to determine uh, what quick wins we can uh, make or gain and what can you plan for the near future or, or, or for future purposes. One of the things that I think we, we should address is the water problem, not just in Bondo uh, as a town, but in this health facility. We must put ourselves in a situation where we can have water around the clock. Uh, even the wards that we've toured, uh, again, uh, I think they are, they are makeshift. Uh, to be a level four hospital, I think in, even in terms of brick and, uh, and mortar, uh, we must be seen to be doing a better, a better job. Other counties have done it. Um, I was seeing the other day in Kilifi, they, they have built a, a magnificent um, uh, building to, to house the hospital there. So we are hoping to, to make a difference, uh, particularly in the areas that we have, we have pointed out. Uh, out there, if you talk to the public, they see more problems than uh, service. And, and, and we must address those, those problems that people keep on uh, talking about. I also am not happy that the morgue here is not uh, refrigerated. In fact, all the level four hospitals, or all the hospitals in CIA except Yala, the public hospitals, uh, they don't have a proper morgue. Uh, and this morgue has got a, a big population. Uh, but thanks to you, the staff here, uh, without refri 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 refrigeration and with um, 
uh, by just using uh, chemicals and embalmment, uh, you, you, you keep it in that condition. Even me walking into the morgue, and I've been to many morgues uh, before, but I'm surprised that uh, they are kept to that level of cleanliness without refrigeration. So I'm hoping that that's one of the, uh, uh, the quick wins that we can try, try to think about. At least Sia and Bondo uh, should be upgraded, upgraded. We're not just thinking about the dead, but even the living. We need to upgrade the facilities in, in Bondo. Uh, you have enough land uh, for expansion. In fact, in terms of the uh, near future, I think you don't need more, more land really. Uh, this land is, is, is expansive uh, for development and we're going to try and do our best to, to make appropriate plans to make this facility better uh, for our people. And even people from other counties, because they're not very far from Kisumu County and uh, uh, the other sub-counties in Sierra County. So I hope that uh, in the next uh, uh, days and weeks, we are going to continue to make these visits so that we can see for ourselves what needs to be done and to determine the actions and the solutions for the problems we may, we may face. Otherwise, Dr. Tari and your team, thank you very much. And uh, uh, we'll continue to come here. And if uh, there are things we think we can resolve or solve, uh, our doors are, are open. And uh, not just for you, but the entire team. And uh, Waziri's team uh, is also there for you know, providing solutions to the problems you may face. Uh, so with those remarks, uh, William, can you come and answer the questions? <laughs> William is uh, reminding me, and it's better him than you asking me a question. Uh, for very practical problems, we have a shortage of drugs, especially in the uh, other facilities, in the dispensaries, the health centers. And uh, we have money to resolve that issue. But the supplies may take a little time, two weeks. Uh, I think we're back to normal. Uh, what we are promising the people of CIA that uh, we don't want to think about drugs when there are no more supplies. I think we'd be more strategic to ensure that there are drugs, at least the basic drugs, available in all our health uh, facilities. Uh, thank you. And now I can answer a question if, if uh, yes, uh, maybe. if we write our manifesto there, you know, our vision about them is right there in black and white. We want to mainstream, you know, that service uh, so that they are not paid stipends, uh, but they have uh, full engagement uh, 